So your NDTC has officially been configured and now you're at a point in which you actually want to configure the end devices to ensure that they are tracking the correct, ch the correct channels so that you can go about to actually um, set up your schedules accordingly. You may also want to go through and do some additional configuration as well. Well, in this um, se section, we are actually going to be going about to configuring much more so input devices that are connected to this NDTC's network. So by that, the key thing again is you want to ensure that you log in as an administrator. And in our case, we have the pin as one, two, three, four, five, six. So by that, we're officially logged in as an administrator. We can then go through and through technician mode, navigate across to input devices. And under input devices, what you've got is you have the ability to go through and configure switch input devices as much as you can navigate to the occupancy um, section to actually configure the occupancy sensors that are connected onto this NDTC. And you can also navigate to the photo cell section so that you can also navigate across and configure photo cell devices accordingly. Let's begin by a switch. And in this case, we'll start with, for example, the NPP so the N, the N pod M to PDX. So from here, if you were to come in here, you have the ability to go through and rename this N pod M to whatsoever it is that you want that label to be. So if it is, for example, that you've got this ARP connected to multiple um, areas, multiple sections, from here, you can go through and say, you know what, I'm going to allocate this to be named specifically, uh, much more so the aisle switch and label that as the aisle switch. And if it is the case that you want to confirm that that's truly the aisle switch, you can also tap on the, cur on the identify button to, to identify that particular wall switch as well. So if you're looking at the wall switch, the LED, I the LED indicators would be blinking to allow you to be able to effectively determine and identify that that switch is what is being identified. Along the same line as well, this device is a two pole device. So what you can do is associate the first pole to a specific channel and the second pole to a specific channel as well. Again, as a reminder, input devices broadcast to channels and an input device or an input device's pole can only broadcast to a single channel. So if I was to come here and modify the pole in which the, um, the, the, the first pole of this um, switch, I can go about to selecting any one of the 16 local channels that are available to, to this particular NDTC. So right now it's associated to channel one or channel one has been modified to just be called channel. So it's associated to channel. But let's say for example, I want port one to much more so be associated to channel three, for example. By selecting channel three, this has now been modified in such a way that this pole is going to be broadcasting specifically to channel three. I can come as well and make that same modification for the second pole and associate the second pole to channel four. And if we were to return, this particular switch has now been modified in such a way that the first pole of this 2P device is broadcasting to channel three, while the second pole of this 2P device is broadcasting to channel four. So here we've modified specifically this particular um, N N pod M 2P. As we go, as we press the back button, all of those settings are pushed directly into that switch. Similarly as well, we can come in and let's say modify, if you were to look at the NWSX. Looking at the NWSX, as you're familiar, the NWSX contains both a um, switch, a switch um, input, as well as behaves as an occupancy sensor input and a photo cell um, input as well. So by coming here to edit this NPOD, this NWSX, you are specifically editing much more so the switch portion of this NWSX. So you can come back here and actually modify it if you would prefer to much more so broadcast to channel three. By that, the switch portion of this NWSX is going to be broadcasting to channel three. If you want to go about to modifying more so the actual occupancy sensor portion of this NWSX, you would then navigate to the, end, end, the occupancy um, the input devices list and look under the, occupant, uh, under, under the NWSX. And by navigating into it, you again have the, ability, have the ability to identify the NWSX. At the same time, you can configure whatsoever channel, occupancy channel it is that, that NWSX is going to be broadcasting to. 
you also have the same flexibility to do the same as well when it comes to photo cell. You can go into the photo cell and select any one of the photo cells and from there you can do the same operation as to associate the poles to broadcast to any one of the available, any one of the 16 photo cell channels as well. You can even go one step further with photo cell and adjust the photo cell set points. So by going through here, you get the reads as well when it comes to, um, the, to the lumen input as well for that photo cell. And you can also set it up in such a way in which you can also configure auto calibration altogether directly on screen of the NWSX. And so by that, it applies both to the NWSX, it also applies to any other input devices that is of type photo cell as well. And so the configuration workflow would be the same. And similarly as well, for any other occupancy sensor, you'd have the similar workflow as well, where you would be going about to modify what specific, um, what specific pole it is that the occupancy so what specific occupancy channel it is that the pole is broadcasting towards. And by this, you then are, you, by going through these screens, you will then be able to successfully say that you have configured each one of these devices to actually broadcast to specific um, occupancy, photo cell, as well as switch channels, depending on the type of device, of input devices that are connected onto this NDTC.